Hi guys, I'm back. Today I'm going to read 2 Samuel 12 to 18, Proverbs 20, 21, and Psalm 147. Let's get started. And the Lord said Nathan today, he came to and said to him, There were two men in the sun sea, the one rich and the other poor. The rich man had very many flocks and herds, and the poor man had nothing but one ewe which he had bought, and, and he brought it up. And he grew up with him with his children, he used to eat of his morsel and drink from his cup and lie his arms. It was like a daughter to him. Now they came and traveled to the rich man. He was unwilling to take one of his own flock or had to prepare for the guests who had come to him. But he took the poor man's land and prepared for the man who had come to him. And David then was greatly convicted to him. And he said to Nathan, And as the Lord this, the man who has done this deserves to die. And he shall restore the land for four, because he did this thing, and because he had no pity. Nathan said to David, You are that man, thus is the Lord, the creation. I anoint you, King of Israel, and let it be out of the hands of and they give you a master's house and lost the rest of the child. And you the house of Israel and Jew, and this will to them. And I add to you as much more. Why you despise the word of the Lord to do what you and your son? He struck on your eye the head out with the sword, and has taken his wife to be your wife, and has come with the sword that night. Therefore the sword shall never depart from your house, because you despise me, and have taken the wife of your eye the head out to be your wife. That says, Lord, be gone. And I'll raise that evil against you out of your own house. And I'll take your wives before your eyes. And give them to your neighbor. And you shall lie with your wives in the sun of the sun. And then you shall do secretly, but I'll do this thing before the sun. And I'll hold the sun. And David said to me, I sinned against the Lord. And he said to David, The Lord has put no sins but anyway, he said, You shall not die, and now for the best. And cut by the seed, your brother's gone more. The child born to you shall die. And Nathan went to his house. And the Lord afflicted the child that you are I, his wife, brought to him. He became sick. David, David therefore saw God. And on behalf of the child, and David fast and went in and lay all night on the ground. And lay all night on the ground. And then the house of this house stood beside him. To raise an arm from the ground, but he went on, nor did he need to create from it. But then on the same day, the child died. The servants of the people were afraid of the time. And the child was dead. So they said, Behold, mother and child was yellow. He did not listen to us. And how then can we say to him, The child was dead? He made do himself some harm. And when David saw his servants were whispering together, they understood that the child was dead. And David said to his servants, his child dead. And he said, He's dead. And David arose from the earth and washed and anointed himself. And anointed himself. And changed, changed his clothes. And he and went to his house. And when he asked, he said, And he went into the house and burned washing. He then went to his own house and he asked, They set food for him. And they set food for him. And he ate. And his servants said to him, That's the thing that you've done. You fasted one for a child. Well, he was alive. Still alive, and I fast and wait, and I said, In this way, the Lord will be gracious to me. Now the child may live, but now he is dead. Why should I fast? Can I bring him back again? I shall go to him. He had not returned to me. Then David comforted his wife, Bathsheba, and went into her and lay with him. He bore son. He called his name Solomon, and the Lord loved him, and sent him in by Nathan the prophet. So she called his name Jedidiah, because of God. And Jerob is fought against the rabbit, the Ammonites, and took him the royal city. And Jerob sent messengers to David and said, I have fought against the rabbit, and moreover, I was taken to see it was now, then go to the rest of the Hebrew to the other encounter against the city and take it. As I take the city and it be called by my name. And they would take ground all the Hebrew together. And I went to Rabbi and fought against them and took it. And he took a crown that came from his head and the way to it was a tablet of gold. And then it was a precious stone and it was placed in David's head. And he brought out the sword of the sea, a very great amount. And he brought out the Hebrew who were in it and set them to the mail of sword. And the iron place with iron axes and made them toward the great cup. And thus he did to all the cities in the Ammonites. And David and all the prayer and people returned to Jerusalem. And the house on David's son had a beautiful sister whose name was Tamar. After a time, Ammon and David's son loved her. Ammon was so tormented that he made himself ill because of sister Tamar, and she was a virgin, and seemed impossible to Ammon to do anything to her. And Ammon had a friend whose name was Jonathan. And the son of Shimei, David's brother. Now Jonathan was very cocky now. He said to him, My son of the king, why is he hiding more than after month? He did not tell me. And Aaron said, I, I love Tim, I love Tim, my brother, as my sister. Jonda said to him, Lie down your bed and pretend to be ill. When your father comes to see, he said to him, I say to him, Let my sister Tim come and get bread to eat. And, and give me bread to eat. And prepare the food of my son. And now he see an ear from the head. And Aaron lay down for pretend to be ill. And the king came to see him, Aaron said to him, and he's got my sister Tom and come and make a couple of cases of myself that I need you from the head. And they sent him to Thomas and get your brother and I'm in his house and prepare his food for him. So Tom went to her brother and uh, I'm in his house where he is lying there. Where he was lying there. And she took a door and made a case inside and baked the case. 
and you take the pen and empty it out before you freeze tea. Then Admin says, send out your pen for me. Hey, well, what up before I go in? And Admin said to town, bring the food from the Geneva. Then he gave me him and Tamman took the cakes to Geneva. Now with them to Geneva, Tamman and her brother. Then he brought them near to eat. <clears throat> he took hold of her and said to come lie with me on my sister. She answered, no, my brother, do not violate me. If such a thing is not done like this, I do not do this very outrageously. And as for me, where could I hear my shit? I said, you would be as one without rage for the other. And therefore, who speaks to the king? Fear not withhold me from you. He would not listen to her. And being stronger than she, he violated her and left. And no one hated her with very great hatred. So that the hate with so that the hatred with she he hated her was great in love, with which she loved her. Then I said to get up, go. She said to no, but for this wrong sending it was great in other you did me. And he would not listen to her. He called the young lady and said and said, This will now arise and bought the door after. And with the king she was wearing a long robe with sleep. And such thus were the virgin doors of the king dressed. So he said, I put it out and bought the door after him. And Tamil lay put ashes on the head and tore her long robes. Yeah, she wore and she laid her hand on her head. Oh, no way, crying a lie, she went. And her brother Absalom said to her, Has your brother been with you? And I hold your peace, my sister. Here's your brother. Do not take this house. The town left a desolate woman. And her brother Absalom's house. And King David had all these things. He was very angry, but Absalom spoke to him, and neither could know about it. And Absalom hated him because he violated his sister town. After two full years, Absalom had sheep shares at Bal Hazel. It's near Ephraim, and Aslan invited all the king's sons. Aslan came to the king and said, Behold, your son has sheep shears. Do you let the king and all the sons go with your son? And the king said to Aslan, No, my son, let us not all go, unless we be burned some too. And so, if you emperor and he impressed no, he would not all go. And gave him his blessing. And Aslan said, If not, please let my brother Adam go with us. The king said to him, Why should he go with you? Aslan pressed on to the Adam and all the king's sons and go with him. The Aslan commanded the to mark it to the Adam. The now it's hard to bear fire, and I say to strike out the gun. If you are fit, fire, but I am not commanding. He crushed and be, and be fine. So the servant to Absalom did to Abner as Absalom commanded. The only king sends a rise, and each man is mill and fled. While they are on the way, and these came to do, and Absalom strikes out all the king's sons, and not one of them is left. Then king arise and towards the and lay on the earth. And all his servants were standing, but I tore their guns. And I joined Absalom and Shimei and David's brother, saying, Let not my lord suppose that they had killed all the only king's sons, so Abner learns to. Well, by the command, Absalom is this being turned from the day he violated his system. And therefore, let my lord the king, and let all my lord the king take to heart so as to suppose. And then, let all the king's sons of death, for I'm the last day. As of that, and the only kept the glass to lift up his eyes, and look, and behold, many people were coming from the road behind him by his side. And, and John Dash said to the king, Behold, the king's sons have come. And I said, I said, I said, I just come here, and as soon as you finish with me, behold, the king's sons came, and left with their bush, and the king actually looked so as my very good. And I saw the father went to tell my son that I'm from the English and David man from and David man to realize some day after. So I saw the father and went to Geshem and I was there three years and so the king longed to go out to Absalom. He was comforted about Ammon since he was there. And Joseph's son was really needed the king's arm went out to Absalom. And Joseph sent to Tekoa and brought from there. And once more I said to pretend to be a man and put on man in garments. And do not know yourself with a word but behave like one who has been married many days of the day. I read to the king's feet thus down and so Joseph put the words in mind. And the woman of Tiko, and the woman of Tiko came to king. He found her face to the ground and paid homage to her. She made a king, and the king said to her, Watch the trump, and it's I, and last I will be my husband is dead. And Sarah had two sons, and they quarreled with one another in the field, and there's no one to separate them. And then watch the other come. And uh, now the whole clan has run up against his son, and they said, Give it the man who. He struck his brother that we may put him to death. And uh, the life of his brother, he would kill. And there would destroy the hair, I said. And I said, I'll quench the cold that is left and leave to my husband, not in the name, no. And the remnant on the face of the earth. And the king said to her, well, go into your house and I'll give orders concerning you. And the woman took her, said to the king, well, be me the girl, or maybe the girl of my lord, the king, or my father's. And the king was going to be guiltless. And the king said, if anyone says anything to you, bring to me, and he shall never touch you. He said, and she said, uh, Please let the king break the Lord Eva. <laughs> the avenger of blood killed no more. And my son be not to show. And she, she, she said, As the Lord, there is not one heavy as shall go to that. And the woman said, Please say, you said, in this place, he could wait to my Lord the king. 
And he just didn't speak. And the woman said, why the hell do you plan such a thing against the people of God? And by giving the decision, the decision, the king can't say so. And as much as the king does not bring his banishment on him again, he must all die away like water spilled on the ground, which cannot be gathered up again. Hey, God not take one life, and he advised me and said that banishment will not remain in our curse. Now I have come to say this, and to say that, and to my lord the king, because he will make me free. And you come to say this, and to my lord the king, because he will make me free. And some thought I'll speak to the king, and maybe the king will be over whom and I'll cross the sun, but the king will hear, and deliver sound from the hand of man, and to show my message to go from the head to go. And he said, that the way my lord the king will send me out is, and my lord the king is like the angel of God to his own king evil. And the lawyer will be with you, and the king answered, well, it's not hard for me anything to ask you. And the lawyer said, my lord the king said, he the king said, is it the hand of God with you and all this? No one answered, no one answered. And I said, as sure as you live, my lord, you can enter the return to the right hand to the I don't know anything, my lord the king had. My lord the king had. And it says, as your servant Job had commanded me, it was he put all these words in the mouth of your servant, and all his chance to cause the thing to your servant Job. Do your servant Job did this, but my lord was like the king was the danger. Uh, God to know all things that are on the earth. And the king said to Job, God, now I grant this girl, bring back a young man, Absalom. And Job fell on his face to the ground, paying homage and blessed the king. And Job said, Today, your servant, know that I have found favor in your sight. I would lord the king, and the king has granted the request. And this is a joy, so I rose and went to Gaza, Gesha, and brought, and brought Absalom to Jerusalem. And the king said, Let him dwell in the palace of his house. He didn't have to come to him first. So I saw that there's no heart desire in the house, and I did not come to the king's house. Now, Israel is not there's no one to must have much to be here. His hands and appears in his eyes, but the gold was put to the ground of his head. There was no branch in it. He got the hair of his head, he weighed the hair of his head. Two hundred shekels weighed the king's head, and he was born to Absalom three cents. One daughter, his name was Tom. She was a beautiful one. Now, Absalom lived two full years in Jerusalem without coming into the king's house. And Jairus sent him to John, uh, Abraham sent Absalom son of John, sent him to the king. And John would not come, and he said the second time. And John would not come, the king said to son, see, Jairus, he was not coming. He was by the air, said, I'm fine, go and say, I'm fine. So Absalom said, I'm the field, I'm fine. And John would raise him to Absalom's house, and he said, behold, and he said, yeah. I said, I'm fine, my field, I'm fine. And then Absalom answered, John, behold, I said, I'm fine. I'm here, I'm going to the king, Thomas, why have I come from Kesha? It would be better for me to be there still, and not therefore let me go into the prince of the king. He had his gun and go at me, let me hear it. Jarrah went to the king and told him, and he saw an Absalom, so he came to the king and burned himself from his face to the ground of the king. And the king can get some Absalom. After the Absalom, the Lord saw a giant and burst, was in the 15th and the Rambo, and the Absalom used to ride out and stand by side of the king. And when any man had this year had come before the king for judgment, Absalom called him and said, and say, from what's the are you and say your servant and his servant is such as such a child as Absalom would say to see your coins again. But there's no man designated by the king to designated by the king to designated by the king to hit you. And Absalom would say, If thou art to judge him, then never a man came with pain with you. He would his hand, take hold of him, and kiss him. And just Absalom did all his own, he came to King to judge him. And Absalom took us to the house of men later. And then four years, Absalom said to King, Please let me go and pay my vow, which I have vowed to the Lord. And he will be so proud of the power, while I live in Bishon. And if the Lord will indeed bring me back, bring me back to Jerusalem, and I will worship, worship to the King said to him, Go and be said, I rise him with Hebrew. And uh, Absalom sent secret messengers throughout all the tribes of Israel. And all the tribes of Israel. And as soon as he heard the child's trumpet, he said, Absalom is king of Hebrew. And Absalom sent 200 men from Jerusalem. And they were hidden in the bag of the king. And they were in the end of the king. And now while Absalom was offering the sacrament, his emperor had to hold the guilt. And there's a council at the same guilt. And the conspiracy grew small. And and the people with Absalom kept increasing, and a messenger came to David saying, The hearts of the men of Israel had gone to Absalom. And David said to all his sons, Oh, we can let Jerusalem, let Jerusalem arise, and let us wait also, we no escape us from Absalom. Very quickly, let us overtake us quickly and bring down the bring down the knowledge and strike the sea at the edge of so, And the king said to the king, You are just to do whatever my lord, oh, where my lord the king decides. And the king went out, always hustled after him. And Caleb drank from Keelan, so 
he does and the game and all those people after and the whole time he lost us and on this all of us I was by an old child I sold the car pass for 600 gear I said I fought him from that that's not fucking good and then I said to try to get him and then I thought I want to go with this you're back and stay with the king for your four and there's an ex off her with her can't really stay I shall make sure I make it to make you wonder about it but I'm not about this since I go and I know where. Go back and take a buzz with you. And the Lord shows Davis love and faithfulness to you. And yet I answer the king, and it's the Lord that is my Lord, and the king. Yeah, that is my Lord, the girl, king. Wherever my Lord, the king shall be. And if it does, I'll lie. Yeah, that's all you tell me. And there's a day that I go the impossible to say. I get my heart stopped, boys. And there was the ones who were. And all the land were after the lands, he passed it. And as the king cuts the book, he and all that people passed on toward the wilderness, and the Ethel came, and all the Ark came, and so told them they were bearing the Ark of the Covenant of God. They sat down the Ark of God until the Hebrew girl passed out of the sea, and the king sent Zadok and Zadok, carry the Ark of God back into the sea. If I find favor in the eyes of the Lord, he'll bring me back and let me see both in the dying place. And if he says, I have no question, you behold, here I am. And do you truly want to be good to him? The king sent to Zadok the priest, How are you not a seer? Go back to the sea in peace with you two, since he was your son. And then Jonathan son of Ethan, see I'll wait at the foot of one until work comes to you to inform me. So Zach and Abitha carried the Ark of God back to Jerusalem, and they remained there, and then one of the Asnath of the Lord was weeping as he was. And fell with his head gone, and all the Hebrew with them covered their heads. And they were weeping as they were, and it's told they were hid the bars among the conspirators of Asnath. And there said, Lord, please send the council of his God into Jerusalem. And my dear was coming to the sun, and our God was worshipped, behold, he shot the Asha came to me. His coat torn down and said, Dear said, if you go with me, you'll be burned to me. He returned to the sea and said, I'll be a son again. I have been your father so much time. I said, Now I'll be your son. And then you will defeat me in the council of him. He thought, I am not a son of the Abitha. I'll be a son of peace with you. Whatever you hear from the kings and stuff, so I'll be a son of peace. He had the two sons of the day, he had a son of the son. And he said, I'll be a son of the Abitha. And by then he showed something, everything he had. Mm, everything here. So he shot Jerusalem so and came into the sea, just as Absalom was entering Jerusalem. And Deir had passed the lobby on the side, so he got to and left for Russia then. Imagine, and then Common Donkey saw bearing 200 loads of bread, 100 buck, bunches of bacon, 100 summer fruits, and skin of the wine. And the king said to see, Why have you brought these here? And the Donkey slept with the king's house to open. He ran some food for the young men to eat, and the wine for the fame of the city. And the king said, The man is your pastor. He is had to the king. And he held your reins to Jerusalem and said, Dear the house of you, and so I will give me back the kingdom of my father. And then the king said to Zeb, Behold, all the cattle, all the belongs to my few lodges. And mm, it's not yours, and it's serious, I said, I can't come in. Let me ever find, let me ever find faith in your sight, the land of the king. And the king, there is a king to Bohor, and the king of the man of the family of the house, the soul whose name is Shimei. Shimei, the son of Gerah, and my house, and he puts it in the other And he heard my son, do my son to do. And I was still in the king of all the people, and all the money men, and all the rest of the So I said to you, to Lucas, get out, get out. And you may have called you with me. The Lord has avenged on you all the blood of the house, and whose place you have been. And the Lord has given the king to hand you at Absalom. It's on Absalom, see, he was on your feet, young man, but maybe he had sons to rule you, said the king. I should have said, dog has done all the king. And if you let me go over and take off his head. And the king said, What have I to do with you? The news on the story. He has got to the Lord said to him, Cursed him. He then shall say, Why are you here? And he said to be shown and his name is the last. Behold, behold, my hand is on the sea for I shall not tread many of this. He even left for his name, Cursed. He let him curse the Lord and was told him. It may be that the Lord will look down on him. And see the wrong down on me. And he will lower pay me and be that I'm good to get it. That is cursing today. So there is my on the way. Well, she may have went along with the house opposite and cursed him. And two stones that went flung at us. And the king of the people with it. Now we are at the John. They fresh himself. And I saw an old Hebrew of Benedict. So I came to Jerusalem. He had the fall with him. And when he was trying to launch, I dare to run King Dawson. He was trying to sit to Absalom. Long with the king. Long with the king. And he Absalom said to Hushai, You see a lord to your friend. Do you do not go with your friend? Hushai said to Absalom, No, I'm a fool. Who the lord and just get people and all the men. It says, Church in his eye. And he is all and without a man, again, him should I say, should not be a son, I am still your father's house, said he. And Absalom said to him, give a counsel, what shall I do? He said, I said to Absalom, go and do your father's concubines, and he just left to keep the house. Oh, oh, it's all good, that you have made yourself a stench.
the stash too far. And the hands are all hurt like it was going to happen. He's like, it's just time to have some on the roof. And not have some women to his wife's confidence. And so, so. Now there's these girls that Matthew Washington hit Falky. It was as if one could sell. And as long as I don't know what I it. Gee. So there was a council of war uh, at the first day. Uh, there was my David by Aston. And when I hit the first day to Aston, then she told the other man I would like to see David and uh, took him tonight. I accompanied him while he was wearing disguise and throwing him into a party. And when he put it with him, was fully. And I'll stretch that and I'll remember he would like to hear the bride cry. If bride comes home to her husband, he sees the life where they want man and the people will be at peace. And, uh, and uh, if I see dry in the eyes of the absent, and all the others is an um, absent, say, Call who shall the archer? And I said, Let me see what he has to say. And then she came to absent. Absent said to him, Why? Thus did he fall speaking. And I shall do as he says. You he did not, you speak. And uh, he shall say to absent, It's time the only counsel that he has given is not good. And then he shall say, You made that your father has been a lion. And that they are in race like a bear rock that comes in the field. He says, Your father is expert in war. And you're, spend, you're not spending it. And you even held Even now he's in himself one of the pits in some other place. And so this is only he for the first time. Maybe he's always saying there's been a slow moon. He grew for him. And that one. Among the few who felt asking. And there are even the valiant men whose heart is like hard for life. Oh, I lay my love for you. I've always known that your father's a mighty man. And this is all without valiant men. But my house is like always. I'll be glad to you. And Dan's a bitch, but it's the same by saying even for Moshi. And you grow into brown pest. So we shall come upon him in some place where he is to be found. Um, and you shall light upon him as to use falls upon the sea. And choose falls on the ground. And I'm fair and I'm the man. I'm fair. I want you to be left. If you draw this sea, then it always has to bring a representative. You drag him to the land. It not even a pamphlet to be found there. And I was listening to him right at the And the law. And that is our answer. And the council who shall the archer is better than council who the And the law is ordained to defeat the good council who the and the Lord might bring you home upon us. And the Hisha said to Saka and be a father, please. And the Lord, and thus and so did he hit the father council where he, and our son and the others of David, and thus they are out of council. And therefore send quickly and tell David. And John said to the fords of wilderness, and I will meet horse over the king, and all the people of uh, the fords, and the beast father. And just that he went away for him by the instant, and the Lord to him go and tell him. And they went to go and kill Dave. Killing Dave. Uh, go and tell King Dave. And they were not to be seen entering the sea, but the young man saw them told us. So both of them went, uh, went away quickly and we came to have some men over the home. They were in this courtyard. In a courtyard. And they went down into it. And the ones threw up in this red wall, covering over the walls, not the scattered ground, and nothing was in it. And the other ones came to the woman in the house. And there he met them just like. And the ones that did, they have gone over to the book board. They said they could not find their attention to use. And there he won the running camp to the hall. He went to King Jamie and he said, he said to Jamie, all right, go quickly over the board, but that's not so his hands of a cloud against you. And then David arose and many old, old people were with him. And he cast the John by David, and no one was left who crossed the door. The door. And he felt so that his cancer was not there. He said, I was donkey, I want to find his answer. He said, it's just an order to hang himself. He died, was buried in the tomb of his father. And David came to the one hand. And I saw the door with the middle age, and I have finished that lesson. And she, I mean, said, John, and that's what the son of man did throw the Ishmael. He married a beach of the door, and has his dirt to the root of Joe's mother. And Israel and Asher and Captain Lang, and David and and came to man, and his Arabians and Asher were over the Amorites. And they were killed the son of Ami of the from Lake Lamb, Bell, Sailor, the Gilead, from Red Lamb, and brought beans, buttons, earth, and a sweet pie. But I washed Brains, Bean, the Lizards, Honey, and Cousin Sheep, and she's from that. And David and the Hebrew were with him too. And they said, The Hebrew are hungry and weary and thirsty in the Lord's. Proverbs 21. And the king's house is trimmed within the hand of the Lord. The Lord, he does whatever he loves, whoever the man is right in his hands. The Lord is the heart of all two righteousness and justice, more acceptable to all the sacrifice. Holy eyes and proud heart. Holy eyes and proud heart. And the lack that we can't see. And uh, finds the door gently, she'll let you open us. Everyone who's hasty comes in into public, they're in your church by a long time, and it's very free, free, and rapists, and they're done. Finds the door, we can't see, don't worry, because they refuse to be washed. Just wait to go, he's quite the conductor. 
Conduct with pure zaba. It is not that in the corner of the house, and it has shared with the cause of one. So, the we get to size it with his name is fine, stemmed by seeing his eye. It is simply comes once one who has been instructed. He ignores the right one, and observes the house of the week. He throws the head down to wicked, he throws the wicked down to ground themselves, he is quite the poor. He only so called and not be answered. The gift and secret of us, and good scheme of rest on one. For where injustice done is the judge of rest, but charity would ask one and one from the way he gives it. One of the rest in his way, the day, and one of us pleasure will be upon it. He will find all not be rich, or he is the rest for the wretched. And the trader for that advice, but to live in the desert. Then I'll call some perfect one, fresh chance in the way I am a white man do. Now, foolish men devise it, whenever he pursues righteousness and kindness, and I'm not for righteousness, and I'll watch my skirts see the one. Then he stands strong and we say trust. And whoever keeps the mouth of his tongue and keeps himself out of trouble, scoff at his name without our holy man. He asks without God to try. The desire to slide because of his hands to free slide. With the longest praise of grace, for the right to give us no hold back. And sacrifice is the wicked of all the nation. How much more will he bring to the demon? And false witness will perish for the word of man when he is winter. And the Abraham gives thought, and the Mercury may put on the ball face, but the Abraham gives thought to the day. There was someone that unseen cannot come to convey this law. Host may ready for the day of battle, that the victory belongs to the Lord. Psalm 147. It's good to sing praise to our God for his plans, but strong praise of plenty. Fitting, the Lord built up Jews when he gathered the Abraham's Israel. He has a broken heart and balance of things. He has a number of the stuff. He is not all that needs. Grace alone, abundant power, his understanding is beyond measure. The Lord has the humble and he casts the wicked to the ground. He gives the Lord his name and he's not only to go on with mine. No way, come to heaven with Christ, he prays for him for you. And this God's ground in the house, he gives it a beast every day. He arrives in the Christ, the light is not the strength of the house. No one's pleasure in the legs of man. The Lord takes pleasure in those of you. And those who have been suffering from the Christ, the Lord is yours and bring the glory of his heart. May he bless the strength of the boss again. And this is your charm within you. Make things to your blood. He is the highest of the way and sends out the command to you. You found as well as the He gets now that wall. He hunts down the ground. He restores our eyes like God. He is never for his call. He sends us where he wants. He makes his wind burn the walls for him. All is flat. He declares his words to Jake. He statues and bolsters. He is not dealt thus with the end of the nation. They do not know his voice. Christ the Lord. And now the smash. And now the Lord's word. He is the head of all in heaven. How they be out of it. They are going to come and you will be done. That is his intent. Because they are dead. And for yesterday, she is free that devil. As long as the nation of the earth is an evil one, you see them in the family group of our men. See you tomorrow. Bye.